Welcome back everybody to Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And last time we were talking to try, gonna talk to her, right? Yeah, Ilya. Let's talk to her. Not sure what's going on. What's going on here? But let's go and talk to her. Very well. Kitianki patrol, right? What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. Uh, what's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon. Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Ilyaka. Let me see if I can ask her to... What? Just follow you around? Sure, why not? I go my own way. Alone. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. <sighs> okay. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. No traps, please. Okay. Nice. This calls for careful footwork. Dear. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! What? Whoa. Oh! Damn. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Facing that lot would be suicide. At least for now. Kithrak. Okay. You heard him. Search every corpse. Okay. So what? We found the Githyanki Zoru mentioned near the mountain pass. We should speak to them. They may know where we can find Githyanki crash to cure our elite infection. Okay. So you are saying we should go down and talk to them? I have to keep going. But before I do that... Uh -huh. Where is the target? Can't slow down. Where are my people? Whoa! Why are you guys still here? Why are you guys still here? Thank you. Heavy chest empty. On my way. Let's go and down. Come here. So they are saying we should talk to them, huh? I guess I can go down from here. Or them there. Let me save. Uh, oh, there's something here. Uh, 
Uh, we'll explore that. Don't let's waste just, a step. let's go down first. Search for the signs of. Okay, so. Risen like road closed due to road. inclement weather. Let's Seek see. marked detour. Let's go and talk to them. What easy prey you make. Walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Ah. Uh... I feel like I should have the I should have the Lazel Lazel here, right? Let me try that. Let me try to bring her here first in the party. Oh, I just changed all the party members stuff and now I have to do it again. I mean, it's fine, I guess. She can have some Okay, let me see. Yes, her. I think her. Yes, yeah, she has her. Her stuff, right? Let's put here. Let's put this one here. We'll ask her to go and. Okay, let's go to the party. Will you stay here, Kala? Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. Monday, you I'll come with break. me. I have something to Lazelle. Ask. Speak. It is done. All right. Uh, let's talk to him. What His is it? Brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven Guard's abduction. Hells. Old Raven Guard's been taken. <laughs> I know him better than most. He's my father. What? I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. more than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. Yep. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. All right. I know, and you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And I see Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. Okay. I'm all for it. All right. Thank you for telling me, I guess. Uh, let's put her, which is fine. Let's just do by type. All right, let's go back. I don't know if I should do a short rest. So let's go. We have the Lazel. So let's go and see if this changes anything. Let me save. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. 
such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the artifact that she carries. Ah. Focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Uh, play along. I don't think we should. Yeah, yeah. Play along. We should. We should ask her to play along. Let's. Let's. T we can't tell them, right? Yeah. 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 You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. Huh. To Danos! To the sky! Why the perception failed? What was the perception Damn of a... You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles, just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. All right. Uh huh. Potato, there is a pouch. Ooh, pearl and amethyst, nice. Detour. Looks like that dragon destroyed the road. Uh, oh, I am. So we have a violin. All right. So this is just uh, okay. Going up and other things, right? And then there is this. So there is this here. Reach the Kikhanki creature. Travel to the mountain pass. All right. So we'll do that, but first let me read. We learned where the crash is located. We should see if we can find answers there. Okay. Dot Shadow Heart opened up about her fear of fools. Okay, that's fine. The Grand Duke. We discovered that Grand Duke Raven Guard is not only an important figurehead in the city, but he is also Will's father. Okay. Uh, the Githyanki called Krishrak was revealed that a Githyanki creature was nested in the mountains beyond the western bridge. We should travel there. With Lazar, okay. So we will go there. Okay, so he destroyed this, which is fine. But I wanna go and check behind here. Is there anything here? No, I think this is just. This is just. And there is a mountain pass. So I think this will. This will connect us back to the goblin camp, if I understand correctly. But we should we should check it properly, just in case, right? 
still breathing despite everything yeah all right so we need to do uh okay i think i need to do a short rest well, let's do a rest quickly uh, first in my heart Seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it, and that's what I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. So everybody is after the artifact, huh? Wow. Okay, let's just sleep. Mm. I need the long I rest. My hands on everything. Ooh. The Blade of Frontiers. Hellfire. She's coming. Who? Who? Who is this? Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Mizora. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Whoa, 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 whoa. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. Hmm. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Hmm. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f what the hell? better what the hells have you done the promise broken a price paid you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade karlak keep an eye on him would you I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. The hell? What the f- <laughs> 
I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. <sighs> you can say that again. When he was chasing me through a Vernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Uh, I'm not sure. God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock packs tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. I see. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. I but see. I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. Really? It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Okay. The Gith Knight is as merciless as the dragon he rides. That we still have our heads is nothing short of a miracle. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. All right. Why obey her at all? It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My I contract see. is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. I see. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. All right. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's rest. Auto select. Ah, here she is again. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a mind flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But a Meloum couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places.
It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Emeluum realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What is the sickness? The absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because we share a common cause and a common enemy. We are alike. You and I. Um. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will. Yeah, down. I don't know about her. I mean, you must discover the source. At of the, the start of the game, it says it's my. Before that happens, she's my protector. But follow the cultists' trail; they will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Yeah. Shadow heart. I had another dream, which I suppose means you did as well. Yep. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole, <sighs> venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector, or we're walking into a trap. Mm. Yep, I think the same. Uh, what's he saying? Let's see. Another dream, another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair and offered another generous gift <laughs> a persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into illithid madness it could drag us. 
Yes, the one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle, but it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. Okay. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. A question that burns in my belly day and night. Huh. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Alright. Let's leave the... Leave the camp. Best be on my way. That might be worth a look. Barrel hole. I'm way too big. Okay. So I guess I can go inside here. This is going back, right? Let me see. Uh, it's all right. We'll come back here later. Let's let's go back. Very well. Let's go back. Mm, we have the feather ball. Let's cast it on him. Jump on her. Could you? Home will ever believe this. Jump on myself, and then let's just go back. Moving ahead. Please jump back. All right. It's funny she can jump so, <laughs> so much, right? But we can't. Anyway, let's go back here. We'll come back to that side anyway. I think it's just some... Uh, maybe if I turn invisible, I guess. Uh, let's do detect card. She has the jump, right? Githyanki psionic jump. Click heels so we can do that. These boots have seen oh, there is a mountain pass. Oh, okay. So this is the mountain pass. Okay, so. So this is what? Reach the Ketyanki crest, travel to the mountain pass. Okay, so I guess. This is like finishing a whole this area. Okay, fine. <laughs> then, so this is the mountain pass. So I think we should clear this, investigate the swamp part, right? And then Auntie Ethel and all those things. And there was also the hmm. I want to sell certain parts, uh, so let's go back to the camp. Just give me a second. I wanna. Could you stay here? I need a quick word. I think there was something that I can do at the camp. Uh, Speak. Quickly, you stay behind. Chuck, you, uh, All right, you come with me. Uh, 
Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Indeed. Yep. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. I see. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. All right. Yes. Oh. Uh, I, our fiery friend, don't show the helmet during conversation. Hide during dialogue. Hide during dialogue. Right? Okay. Good. All right. So let me see. Helian, uh, Kalak needs an infernal mechanics to tune up the engines here. There might be one nearby. So I think I should let me talk to her. We had a we had an arrangement, right? Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm a different person owing to you. All right, fine. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the. Where was I going? Yeah. I wanted to go to the hollow, right? The not the goblin camp. Emerald Grove. Yes. Ah. So hey, we've got this soul coin, right? thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Really? Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Okay. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Okay. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Huh. So she can use a soul coin. Where are my soul coins? Common. I guess it shouldn't be a common thing, right? Uncommon? No. Rare? Very rare. Uh, legendary? I thought I had the soul coins. Short by type. Where is the soul coin? Iron flask. I thought I had those.
Uh, maybe I put them in the in the camp. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll check them later. Um, first thing first, let's go to the camp. Yeah. Road to Baldur's Gate is a long one. Who knows how long it'll take these folks to get their own foot. If they make it, more they're slow. Thank you. Yeah, will die long before battle. Don't see the trouble you a jot. What good would it do for me to be troubled? I thought we she has some infernal all. engine stuff that we need to do, right? Anyway, I'll sell stuff here first. Need anything else? Sell wares, please. Thank you. Harlock boots will keep them. S we'll keep those. Leave. Uh, I believe there was somebody here who could help with the infernal engine stuff they said, right? Let me search. Easy money. Yeah, right. Let me talk to her. That kid stole the one thing that means anything to me. Get out of my face! Alright, fine. He's not saying anything. Aradin? I'm drinking. You're leaving. What is this? I already told you. He was at the temple ruins with us. But it ain't like we forced him to go along. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. Okay. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. All right. Gobbo's are holed up in the temple ruins, out west of here. Last I saw Alson, he was right in the thick of them. If you head that way, you'll likely smell them. Or hear the drums before you see him. Thanks. All right, fine. After this. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. I suppose we'll start in the. Your spiced tea. Okay, they are just doing the same thing again. <clears throat> How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends. The... How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> this guy. True. Damn on. <laughs> Thought I sensed an inferno around here. Ah, the Hellion Heart. You aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And <laughs> you brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Aha! You, you really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Uh. I might be able to help, but I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. We have that, that thing. Isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. 
What say you? Should I give it to him? Yes. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. All right. Give me just a moment. And I think. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect me that kind of need. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Hey. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. All Take right. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Oh, we will. Who uses wooden tools? Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Let me see your webs. Nice. He has the. Okay. So the hunting bow. Let's just leave it here. All right. Talk to her. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. Hmm. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Okay. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? Heh. <laughs> uh, I think we had, we had infernal iron, iron, right? We had another infernal iron, right? Let me check it. Let me check here. In our traveler's sense. chest. Oh, thank God. Oh, why didn't I know this before? Please make it bigger. So I can see more. Uh, I think I... I'm not sure. I think I had one, right? Infernal Lion. Another one. Did I not? Shot by type. I guess I didn't. I don't think I sold it. Let's give her one soul coin. We'll see how it goes next time. Can't give up now. Right. All right. I guess she doesn't. We don't have it. I thought I we had it. I guess not. Let's if leave the camp. Me, what I wouldn't do for better tools. Very well. All right. Uh, let me see. Kill Kaga, we are not doing that yet. Uh, we want to go to the wetlands, right? 
I guess there is not much in the mountain pass side. This is all like the the Goblin camp is. Can I go from here? Ha! Huh. All right, let's let's do that. Let's wrap things up here. I think I'm gonna in the next one we're gonna explore a bit. We wanna go check this place out, the mountain pass here, and see. Okay, so this is just like a chasm, right? Yeah, it's just a chasm. Ah, that is this here. Right? Oh, that is some... Something... I'm not sure if we can... Something over there. Ah. Alright, let's wrap things up here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.